let's take a look at how to get to our calculation manager inside of our web and how to make calculations. So first things first, we'll go to plan one. And we'll go over navigation, administrator, and calculation manager. Go ahead and go head into planning. Okay, so we have different things right here. We'll talk about scripts and templates at a later time. We're gonna look at our rules right now, our business rules, what we're gonna be adding to our forms. So I already have some calc scripts written. If you go up to these functions, we can make a new object, import data properties, variable designer and filter options. So we'll go ahead and open up one of these to take a look at it. So we'll right click open up. So some basic things, we're not gonna really talk about the calculation in this video. We will in later videos, but first things first, once you run, run your calculation, you must save and validate. Validating will show if there's any problems in your in your calculation in your calc script. Then you must set your sparse variables. Uh, we have validation values set. And then once we validate, we have to validate and deploy, which deploys it into being able to be used. So once that happens, we can go back to plan one, and this is how you'll be adding it to forms. So we'll go to the voting expense, for example, and we'll look at this one. Once the calculation, the calc script is deployed, we'll go to business rules in our form that would like it to be deployed. You click on whichever one you'd like, you'd add it. Once you add it, you press run on save. So every time you save it, it'll recalculate. Use members on form, hide prompt. And then, save and finish and it'll, it'll run once you save your form.